What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video, and today it is time for round number two of the Pacific Championship at Bandon Dunes, and Ryan Gamer came out firing on all cylinders in round number one, shot his new personal best on these true simulation settings, 12 under par in round number one. So can he continue to dominate in this tournament? We will find out today. I need all of your all's one times, all the encouragement. Let's finish this tournament after a disappointing Players Championship and a disappointing loss at Bay Hill as well the week before that. Ryan is ready to get back on track and win another tournament. Let's go ahead and dive on in. We have a 306 tee time. We will be the final tee time of the day, I believe. Now conditions, 8 to 12 miles per hour wind, but soft and slow. So the green's going to play so much different, but that 8 to 12 miles per hour is going to be a big change compared to what we played with in round number one. But thank you all for all the support on this series. You all are all legends. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and you can check the full playlist in the description if you're looking for more videos in this series. But let's go ahead and dive on in. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Pacific Northwest and Bandon Dunes Golf Resort, live second round coverage of the Pacific Championship. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. He's on top by one entering play. Frank, here we are a few months into the season now, major championships just around the corner, but I think it's worthwhile to start talking about the race for the FedEx Cup and our featured golfer here to this point. How's this ranking number one on that list? Just a tremendous start to a career. It is, makes Let's him the go. front runner too for player of the year, which we really haven't talked about much this season. Um, and that's been a little bit of a tradition these last couple of years. The tiebreaker has actually been the FedEx Cup playoffs for good reason. They're the best players during the course of the year. So if you win the FedEx Cup, um, they should crown you more often than not player of the year. That's right. In the running for player of the year. And Riot Gamer is sitting atop the leaderboard here going into round number two. Let's do exactly what we did in round number one. Focused and ready to birdie because that's exactly what we did. We got this. Now, despite the good round on Thursday, Ryan Gamer in this Friday round, Hillman and Jerry prepared the same way they did for the Thursday round. They they went to the practice facilities. They studied the caddy books. They, yeah, they're going to try to treat each round, round the same round this underway. week. So we'll see if it pays off. But what a drive to start the day. So a big drive and not much needed to carry here for his second. It's a tough shot up the slope, though. So if you all remember in round number one, we hit the power drive into a six mile an hour win, right? But with eight to 12, I just didn't think the power drive was the right call. But this is an extremely tough golf shot to hit. We're left with 58 yards. I think we've got to hit the finesse, maybe. Into the wind, up the hill. I don't know. I really don't know. Ryan Gamer had that big eagle hole out in the last round as well. That was epic. Okay. <laughs> hey, Ryan, settle down on the spin there. I, I know you got good control, but can you settle down? Gotta pitch this. This has been Ryan's best approach shot this season, well, I want to say this season, over the past three weeks, Spinner has been his best shot all season. Just a little bit short on the swing. Ryan's got to wake up this morning. This Come on, Ryan. Or feet. afternoon, it's 3.06, right? We had a morning round last, last round. Ball is below the feet, up the slope. It looks like it's barely breaking. These are the ones you have to hit. Yeah, there's a little bit left to right, but mostly straight in. Oh, 
Well done. That's a that big par. For a par here at the it's first. one you want to birdie, and though. This will stay a one-shot That's lead. on Ryan Gamer's birdie list. Sitting with a one-stroke lead now, but there's still a lot of players that are playing right now as well alongside Ryan. And I think this is the toughest hole on the course. 221 yards, right pin location, right in the middle as well. Middle right. Uphill quite a bit. I think we've got to go drive. Hybrid. Really tough shot. The finesse shot would have got too much forward roll. Drive, we can spin it more. That worked out perfect. Okay, center of the green. Good shot. A birdie try on the second green. And with that, we welcome four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Nota Begay. All right, Nota, what do we got? It's left to right. have a bit of an incline to navigate, but other than that, this shouldn't move much at all. See, I think it's going to move more than Noda says. It's quite a bit uphill. It's it's level, and then it goes uphill right there and really kicks uphill. I don't know if I agree with Noda. I think there's about a foot or more break. Yeah, he wanted that to I go know? a little more, but that's not too bad from there. Yeah, at least we got the speed to not blast it all the way past the hole, but I did not, s I saw more break than that. That finished off I need some coffee, what about you all? Cheers, these are tougher conditions. One shot advantage. Yeah, it might be slower and softer conditions, but it's not playing easy. Just send it. Just gotta stay focused. I feel like in round number one, I was like locked in focus, probably the most focused I've ever been after that final round letdown of the Players Championship. So I need to and get now, refocused. There Let's do this. Leader. That ball into the very thick stuff here off the tee. It's not a bad place to play from. Very scorable golf hole. 166 yards left. Downhill slightly with probably more like a 10 mile an hour wind is how it played last hole. So we're going to take the... Finesse, eighty-six, ninety-four percent lie. I think it's got to be finesse eight iron. Just hope we get this close. If y'all remember, I think we were in the rough to the left in round number one, and hit a great shot coming back. I believe I blamed Jerry for the caddy book. I can't remember. I think I blamed Jerry on this golf hole. Beautiful. That's an eagle putt. Excellent second shot here at the par five. Frank, certainly a birdie is well within range. Well, from that distance, that second shot, I mean, that's inside the PGA Tour standard, really. Uh, two super shots, and you're right. Outside chance for three. Ryan's the new PGA, he's making the new PGA Tour standard. Ball is above the feet, steady right to left, significant downhill. It's going to be a tough putt, especially get to speed get the speed I'm gonna aim at like 15 get in get in mm, needed a touch more speed and that would have gone in perfect read nothing like leaving it short on a perfect read the slow the slow speed have, are really getting me compared to the first round yeah, no sweat wow it it's a big difference here at the third. Hey, i'll take a birdie though and that's going to move him in get your coffee cheers everybody let's go 13 under for the tournament last drink in this cup but don't you all worry i came prepared let's go came prepared beauty birdie fuel here okay I think we learned, didn't we learn that you just send this? I can't remember, honestly. I think we learned that. I think we learned that you don't even get fancy with shot shaping and you just send. Yeah, okay. That's good to know. I remember because round number one, remember I did all that shot shaping and it. There. That's going to by a mile. That drove the green. Look at Ryan Gamer. 327 yard drive in the wind. 
That's carry. 410 total. So what? not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. Did, did Brian Gaber just drive it 410? I'm gonna do the spinner shot. Used to be Ryan's shot early in the season. Lost it a little bit. Gotta find it. Oh, I think he found it. That's the modern game. Huge <laughs> tee shot. Little shot. Get in close. And a potential birdie. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. You all might want to get a refill of that coffee. Round, you all may have came prepared. After round number one, you all probably got extra of whatever you're drinking today. Cheers. Let's go. Ooh, that's hot stuff. That coffee. Oh, wow. That, <laughs> that'll burn the tongue, right? Beautiful. Trying to underswing a little bit because last time we sent it to the left into the bushes. Drive's not too bad, but the problem is... Drives on the left, and that flag is cut short left. So three options, either respect it, go a little right, maybe just land it just over right next to it, or perhaps try and hit it beyond it yeah. and spin it back. Yeah, I'm not a spirit. I'm not afraid, Frank. Like, I'll just tell you that. You should know this by now. We're going to hit the knockdown shot. Knock, knock down the ball in the wind. Attack. That wind absolutely killed that ball. Wow. So the wind picked up on this golf hole. Gonna go pitch shot. Chip shot has not been Ryan's friend. It's very makeable. If we hit the right distance control though. Get in! Yes! Oh, Come on! Coming up. Roses for our leader. How about this? Holding it from off the green. That's to how you play. Extend that lead. Come on, Ryan. That's a momentum shifting shot. That is three birdies in a row, I believe. Are you kidding me? Just beautiful. That's why I love the pitch shot. I've been hitting it really well. Wow. Nothing like virtual golf. Piping hot coffee, spending time with you all, the legends. What a day, right? What a day. 201 yards, uphill a little bit. I think we can attack this five iron. Aim at about two, probably 14 in this wind. Maybe even 215, full shot. That's the importance of hitting the drive versus the finesse. Upstairs, got a lot of air under if we finesse that, it to land that ball is not stopping nice though. Shot. Drive shot, even though the dispersion zone is so much bigger, on these long par threes and long approaches, you want to go with that drive off the tee or approach shot from the fairway, right? I love the finesse shot, seven, eight iron, nine iron, pitching wedge and, and above. But you get into some of those other ranges those lower irons, woods, hybrids, finesse shot, you can control oh, it more. Everything going right now. That's going to roll a mile. Consecutive birdie. Another birdie. We're on fire par. this week. Cheers, everybody. Are you kidding me? Wow. I think we just send this. I love this course. It's such a fun golf course to play. Did you all see that ball shoot off? And that was good swing yeah, play. Why not? Another that great ball t went. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. That ball went 50 now, yards on target. Four yards out. This to the second. right. On a off the tee. I mean, it was a. I went for the overpower and fast. Maybe that led to just an extreme RNG, but that was insane. I think we've got to go knockdown. Is a sniff get uphill? Probably like 15 feet. Got to add five yards because of that. So knockdown, 54 degree wedge, full loft. Might be the play. Is 
This should spin back. That's what I'm going for anyways. Yeah, it definitely did. Actually spun back a little bit too much, but good golf shot. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. It's actually a perfect now power and perfect this tempo. Birdie. You'll see that? And this is a putt pro's practice for hours. Slightly uphill and dead straight. Yeah, Ryan practiced these putts for hours last night. Getting ready. Stayed up all night reading caddy books. Wants to win this tournament. Prove the fans that he still has it after that meltdown in the final round of the players. I don't know if you call it a meltdown. It was a pretty unlucky round. But balls above the feet. But to me, it looks like a steady right to left putt. Slightly up the slope. They go a couple, about a foot outside. That was dead straight. It was effort. double breaker. That'll run two, three feet past oh. the hole. It happens. It happens. A little double breaker action. You hate to see it. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And this will remain a three shot three stroke lead. lead. Karadek sitting. Three strokes back through nine in this round. But with the way we're playing... Wait a second. We can full send. Yeah, you better believe in this wind downhill. We are attacking this. One time. That looked like a good up the right target. Side off the tee. It's gone, right? Yeah, good shot, but... Uh, hey, kick that back on the green, fans. <laughs> Just act, pretend you start a walk. Oh, I kicked crushed. it. Huh. So after the missed fairway, his second now from the rough well, at eight. Uh, <laughs> oh, we can't see. Who needs to see, though? <laughs> Who needs to see? Going to go full off pitch. And attack this, but the problem we're gonna have to do this view in order to actually see. Really hard to judge the power from that view, but what a shot! This is why so many players today favor distance. Good tee shot down there, nice and close to the green, even though it's coming out of the rough. Excellent chance, exactly. Distance is the way here, and I think it's left to right just barely, not much to it at all. Yes. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. We are dominating he here at Ben and Dunes. 17 under par. We're not holding anything back. Imagine if we would have played this way last week. Last week, though, it's not. We didn't play bad. Like I said multiple times, we were a few lucky breaks away from dominating that tournament. We just every bad break you can think of, we had in that round. Hey, we didn't hit the bunker this time. Last time we hit that bunker to the left. Ball's back in the fairway. I guess it's better to be lucky than good. Better to be lucky than good. Yes, we learned that last week. <laughs> 244. Let's go. I think we actually four iron this. Down the slope with this wind. Land it short. Roll it up. This is when I pull out the approach instead of the finesse shot. Still think it's gone, though. Oh, that wind took that ball. I kind of hope it gets off the green. Oh, my. Okay. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Well, anybody got any ideas? Hey, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, what's the read here? <laughs> Steady left to right. Looks like it's right to left as well. I think it's mostly left to right, though. It's down the hill. It's going to be so tough to get this speed right. I'm going to aim at like 12 feet less and just hope we get this somewhere in the same zip code. For Eagle, though. Great speed. That's pretty good. Well, I think he was being extra careful with that one, but it, it turns out a little too careful. A little now too this, too careful well, indeed. Another birdie. 
All is below the feet. Looks to me like a steady left to right. Breaks more by the hole than at the feet. Oh, now that is going to hurt. From about eight feet. The lip outs recently in this game just have made no sense to me. Wow. They really have it. We've had so many the past three weeks that just don't make sense. Even though that, that one I still think would have went in. It was a little on high side. But that animation just looks so bizarre. It looks like somebody put it like a, a lid on top of the hole. Yeah, it was struck too firm. I do agree with that. But the animation just didn't really match. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that lip out, but hey, it happened. Let's move on. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's in for par Five here at the under. ninth. And that will be a 31 on the front side. Let's Five go. Five under par. Just got to move on, right? We've been so unlucky with lip outs recently. It's been, we've had some very frustrating ones, but at the end of the day, you can't change them. Send it. Oh, he's taking a big run at It's got to go. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Oh! -ho! This one definitely going to pick up speed as it goes along its journey. This for an eagle. You talk about Ryan getting mad after that last golf hole. Ryan, send this one in. Steady right to left. Ball is well above the feet. It's going to be quick as can be. Maybe about 10 feet less. And send this on a lot of break. That thing barely broke. Will that stop? Yes, that it's was not 2. easy. 2.2 degrees a ball above well the done. feet. This looks left to right. But it's so hard to tell. It was right to left. Yes, rolls it right in. A birdie here at 10. Hey, we will take that birdie. And he's now the leader by four. Four stroke lead. Friday. Let's go, Ryan. This is what we needed. You know, Ryan, Ryan needed this confidence. He should be confident, though, this incredible season. But last week really got to him. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. You know, when you go when you when you're on a win Breeze streak coming right to left as he eyes his second and you come into an epic comeback at Bay Hill in the final round come in second though move into the players championship your home tournament in front of your home fans favorite course a course you know better than any other course and fall short it it, it gets you. 154. This is when we pull out the finesse shot, 8 iron, full loft, and send. Uphill quite a bit. Gonna go 158 or more. The wind is shifting to be a little bit more in our face. Gotta keep that in mind. Pay attention to that wind. It does shift. Beautiful. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Chance now for another birdie. All is above the feet, steady right to left. One time. Wow, just a hair off target. Those are the ones that will drive you crazy. It was the speed. It was a good read, right? Just have to hit it a little bit firmer on the line. So that rushed in for par here. Ryan's going to want that one back. He's going to hold on to that three shot lead. Karadach is making. Karadach or Karadach? Karadach. Something like that. They're making a push up the leaderboard. They're three stroke lead right now. Hole number 12. Going to go with the drive shot. Probably all the way down. Right at the front, so we've got to go to like six iron and let that wind blow it. It'll be a tough shot. That's how you hit it, though. No, it's not.
You know, now we haven't been bunker. hitting the Mr. pick shot. Let's just blast it. Three. We're going to blast it. Pick shot has not been working out in Ryan's favor recently at all. So we just need to blast it, I think. Beautiful. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand. We had a good chance to save par. That's a good par save on a tough par three. And it's a par here at 12. I'm, I'm impressed the with the way we're playing in this win. Two. 18 to 16 under. It is going to be a battle this whole weekend. This is two weeks in a row, three weeks that Herodek has been playing insane. We send this one par five. Basically, if we aim right at the hole, the wind should blow us, or a little bit more to the left, the wind should blow us into the fairway if the caddy book is right. And Jerry always makes the caddy books right. What does Jerry know? <laughs> that one is gone. Nothing. OB. That's so out of bounds. Third shot right now after having gone OB. What? Is that out of bounds in real life? Did you all know that? No shot. No shot. Went, so I hit the normal drive aiming at that spot. The wind is blowing at 12 miles per hour to a side. And you're telling me that the wind does not affect the ball at all? Left to right? It went dead straight and hit off that slope. Got to stay focused. I, yeah, I don't understand that one, but hey. I should have been a little bit less in attack mode after hitting it out of bounds. I didn't know that was out of bounds on that first shot. Second shot, I did know that, obviously, but I just did not expect that. That's a heartbreaker. Wow, that's a heartbreaker. It, it really a perfect tournament up to that point. It's one of those things, though. That wind, did you all know that? It didn't affect it one bit. 19 feet away. To save double bogey, if not, it's going to be a triple. To me, it looks like it's left to right slightly. Not much break up the slope. Gotta make this. This is a heartbreaker. That's huge. Yeah, that one on target, though it is in for double bogey. That saves the, the tournament for Ryan, that putt. As crazy shot. as that sounds to celebrate a double bogey after a terrible performance off the tee. Didn't know it was out of bounds off the tee. Hit the power drive, which I probably shouldn't have hit. But then I hit the normal drive, pretty fairly accurate. And the wind doesn't affect it at all. It goes basically into the same spot. We, got, we need to attack this one this time. Hopefully there's no out of bounds here. <laughs> Four! I'm surprised those fans were standing there. Oh my goodness. While there's good bounces, there's bad what a bounces. Shot. That was a good one. The big drive yeah, got, we've got this here. Now a short one for his second. We've got this. We've got to play the game. You got to get the, you got to get shots like that to happen on the last hole. Get them and move on to the next one. You can't change it. You made mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes as a golfer. That's golf. Blame Jerry. It right. It's for birdie. Ball is below the feet. Jerry makes the caddy books. He never marked that as out of bounds. I don't know what he was thinking on that one. There's a lot of break in this short putt. A whole bunch. Uh, that's, that's huge. Play this 14th hole. That's in for birdie. That is how you bounce that back. He's going to push him into the lead here. On Cheers for that one. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Huge birdie after that double. Let's get another one. 
192. Gonna hit the drive shot, even though it's not as accurate. Actually, I think we go finesse here with this crosswind. It's gonna add a little bit more backspin. It's a it's a side wind, but it's also in the face a little bit. Absolutely beautiful. Don't let doubles and mistakes run your route. Right there. Gives him a Keep fighting. Now this for another birdie. Ball is well below the feet. There, there's a lot of break in this short, short 10 foot putt. There's a lot of movement. Crushed it. Slow down. Okay, that'll run about four feet by. And then we have a tough putt coming up the slope, all above feet. There we go. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. 17 under to 16 under. under par. What a battle. Don't hit this out of bounds. We got to we got to hit the normal drive and go for this. Cuz I do think we go for it this round. I know we laid up in the first round. But we need a stroke back. Uh oh, that's not going as intended. That's out of bounds. Mm, that is straight. Well, it's not out of bounds. Stuff. Ball appears to be sitting up here in the rough at the 16th hole. Thank Decent you. Lie, but you it's just won't be over able to, to the right side of bounds. See what he can do now with this, his second shot. Oh, we'll get it to spin, all right. Let's show you how it's done, Rich. Needed to take more off. That's a solid shot. The wind added a bit more. Yeah, Should not have went for that off the tee. I underswung. If y'all notice the drive, I, I mishit it big time. Nine by nine percent, which is not something I do very often. Off the tee, twelve footer downhill slightly. Ball is sitting above the feet. I don't think it's gonna break as much as I anticipate. Less than a foot, I think. Maybe a look to the heavens here. That didn't need much more. Underswung by 1.9%. And on these slow greens, you just got to hit it. Good read, though. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain. That's one like Riot's going to dream about. Karadek finish, finishes 17 under, has the lead. Riot is sitting one stroke back. What says Cola? What Cola? Never mind. Send it. Well, this is left all the way. It's fine, though. <laughs> the rough just now grabs our it. Now co-leader with problems here off the tee. That ball going to settle down into the thick stuff. 121 be a terrifying golf shot in real life gonna go finesse full loft 50 degree wedge it's uphill slightly let the wind push it it's a great swing come back that is gorgeous ah good shot safely on the green and a birdie chance chance now for another birdie ball is above the feet steady right to left up the slope it's not breaking very much at all there is a little bit one time drop your one times everybody i need you say it out loud drop them in a comment this is a huge putt there's 0.4 degrees there, ball quite on target above and it broke way more than that that's golf. That is golf. Hey, we've had a great week so far. Nothing to hang our head about. That double bogey hurts, but we are tied for the lead. Right where he is. One hole left. The hole that you need to score on. I don't think we get fancy here at the, the power drive. I think we just put this in the fairway. 
Give herself a, a chance on the approach. This one turning left a bit off the tee. It's, it's not a very difficult Looking golf hole. Oh, finishing don't you do it. Here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good <gasps> drive here. That was a little too close for comfort there. That ball almost rode into that sand. We hit that sand last round. We have 212 into a headwind. This is when we pull out the knockdown shot into this wind. Knockdown hybrid. I like it. You'd rather land short than far. Can they come back down the slope, please? Go in the hole. Go. How does that ball stop? Got every bit of that through all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. What a golf shot. But I, wow, I wanted that ball to roll more. Ball sitting below the feet. Doesn't look like much movement at all. If anything, just a little bit left to right at the beginning. But like that last putt, I think this one is going to break more than you think. One time for an eagle to close out round number two. Another cut made, obviously, for the outright lead. It was straight in. Not that time. It was Pretty a double breaker. Effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. To, uh, to take the outright lead by one stroke heading into moving day. What a round this has been. What an epic tournament for Ryan Gamer. Even despite that double bogey. Battled back. Yes, he made a mistake. He won't do that again. Okay, so what a lost opportunity there. A three putt par at the last. So will this be the week that our featured golfer claims that first ever title? Frank, it's looking promising through 36 holes. It is, and to just make that final leap to become a winner on the PGA Tour. Well, that's what's in front. It seems simple, but the last bit is the most difficult. How many times, how many times are the announcers going to say that Ryan Gamer's battling for his first win on the PGA Tour? <laughs> How many wins? Hey, a little trivia question for y'all. How many tournaments has Ryan won this season in the PGA Tour? Those of you that have been watching the full series, make sure you tell Rich and Frank that Ryan is not looking for his first win. What a first round and second round. That is a five under on the front and then a one under on the back. Two doubles there. I mean, two doubles. One double on the fourth. Mistakes were made, but that's still an incredible round. Minus six. Did you see that Karadetch shot minus 10 on the day? 62? We shot a 66, which is great. So it's Ryan Gamer, Karadek, Robbie, Ben, Tommy, Spawn, Brandon, and Charlie there that make up the top 10. We are sitting with the outright lead. A place we... I've not been the past two tournaments. We did not lead at Bay Hill. And we have did not lead at the Players' Championship. We definitely led the week before that. But it is going to be an epic weekend, everybody. Thank you for all the one times. Thank you for all the encouragement. And never give it up on Ryan Gamer. I know that double bogey frustrated some of you. The de four decisions were made. We'll be back and ready. Jerry's going to add multiple bold riding that out of bounds is there. Send it to the right. So you better believe we won't make that same mistake for the third time <laughs> but if you all got some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and check the full playlist in the description if you're looking for more episodes in this series and ryan gamer is a multi-sport athlete same athlete across all the sport career modes on the channel there are five ongoing career modes going on at the same time right now and if you all did not know this i have a second channel as well gamer ability 2 link in the description to that get on over there as we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we are so close new videos every single day on the gamer ability youtube channels i will see you next time as always have a fantastic day everybody